Sonais sections. This conic sections. All right, guys. Uh, the purpose of this um, is for me to just give you guys the formulas. I'm not gonna give or give long in depth explanations as to how we get these formulas. Uh, but you guys need to be very, very familiar with conic standard forms. Okay, so the first conic section that we're going to talk about is a circle. This is what it looks like. Ooh. Uh, now, X and Y, you guys should be familiar with. Okay, these are, these represent the X number, the X and the Y number represents all the points around a circle. Okay, so all the coordinates around the circle, you can plug into this X into this Y. If you guys want a complete circle equation you need to have an H and a K and an R what is H K and R well and for our case we're gonna make H K R um, our, our origin okay the H K is always the center of your conic section the R is simply the radius and so this right here would be your R <clears throat> so you try to draw an equal R all the way around and then you can connect the dots and make yourself a circle so that is uh, the circle equation. Another way you guys can see the circle equation is when it equals one. If it is equal one, you divide each side by r squared. If we divide the right side by r squared, we get one. If we divide the left side by r squared, we get um, x minus h squared divided by r squared plus y minus k squared divided by r squared. And the reason why this is important is because when we see an ellipse equation later, it looks a lot like the circle equation. <clears throat> Except the circle equation is more special because his denominator is the same. The ellipse equation does not have the same denominator. Okay? Okay. Now, if h and k were actually zero, then you would only have to write, um, let's see, x squared divided by r squared plus y squared divided by r squared equals uno. <clears throat> but again, you probably won't see um, the equation written in this form very often. You normally see it written in this form. So you just have to multiply both sides by r squared. All right, now let's get over to our parabolas. Man, parabolas have lots of forms. These are the conic standard forms of a parabola. Uh, you guys have also seen a parabola um, that looks like this, y equals ax or ax squared plus bx plus c. You've also seen a parabola look like this. y equals a times x minus h uh, plus k. And now you're seeing a parabola that looks like this. Now this is a conic section um, type of parabola. Uh, but what do all the other letters mean? What does that p mean? I notice we have two different types of parabola uh, equations <clears throat> we have a vertical and we have a horizontal how do you know which one's vertical and which one is horizontal if you think you can come up with some kind of trick to know which one's vertical which one's horizontal tell your neighbor right now go if you talked about the X being squared and that would tell you if it's vertical and the Y being squared that would tell you if it's horizontal you are on the right track my stews Okay, let's grab a vertical one. I'm gonna grab all the parts for you and then talk about the letter P. So this is our vertex. Our focus point would be right there and that's actually inside the parabola. And then your directrix is a line. Actually, that's a bad spot for it because it needs to look a, almost um, like the same distance as the F is from the vertex because that is where you find the P. This right here is P. This right here is also P, but it's the opposite direction. So <clears throat> that's what P is. And this is called your directrix. Now, because this is a horizontal directrix, we know this is going to be Y equals. But it's going to be Y equals what? What is this directrix going to be? It's going to be a negative P. Now, how do we know that? Mr. Patey, it says right here, it says K minus P. Where's the K? Well, what's the K right now? Our k is zero because we're right at the origin. Our h k is actually zero zero, and so if you go down uh, p, uh, it would be zero minus p. So y equals negative p. That is your directrix. <clears throat> now this vertical parabola opens up. Can they open down? Absolutely. If the p is negative, then that means your focus point would be down here, and the vert the directrix would be sh uh, switched to the top. So. This would be your vertex, this would be your focus, and then your directrix would be right here, and you would draw a line like this. How do I know if it goes down or up? You know by the P. If the P is positive, then it goes up. 
If the P is negative, then it goes down. All right, let's talk about our horizontal parabolas. Our horizontal parabolas, <laughs> parabolas, they have the same stuff. So we got our vertex, we have our focus, and then we also have our directrix. Peek, 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 peek. Okay, there you go. There's your parabola. Um, this is still a distance of P. Uh, P right there. <coughs> and this is also a distance of P. Uh, but it is important to note that this is not, it is not Y equals. It is X equals. Why is it X equals? Because it's vertical, silly goose. All right, so if that's vertical and um, it's right here, what would X equal for this one? Remember, the distance between the vertex and the focus is P. And the distance between the vertex and the directrix is the same distance as the vertex to the focus. What? Yes, it's so it's negative P. Kind of like the same scenario right here. Now, if HK was not at 0, 0, then this would obviously be a different value. Now, just like before, you know how like you can open up or open down? This can open up to the right or it can open up to the left. Okay, how do we know if it opens up to the left? If P was negative then you would be opening this up to the left and your focus point would be right here and your, your directrix would be right there. If your HK is at the origin, that means your H and your K would be zero, so these would be the standard forms. Okay, just so you guys are familiar with what they look like. Notice that the squared term is all alone. That is the standard um, conic section form. I have a question for you guys. Is this confusing, H, K plus P for the focus? So your focus point right here is H, so it's the same X as your vertex, which makes sense, except the K, which is that guy right there, has the P adding to it. What? Yeah, that's because we add P to it to get up here. So you just have to add the P to the K for the HK, and that's going to be your focus point.